Hello everyone. Welcome to the new session of our uh, SVP development series. This is Kevin Hu from Shanghai. Today we're going to see how to create a, nat a native application on Android uh, developed under SVP. Uh, so here basically we got follow the 101 uh, development guide from uh, the official documentations here uh, so let's see we got first installed Android SDK and uh, installed ADT and uh, NY server workspace and then uh, we got to uh, we have already uh, installed those Android emulators here and uh, here we have the MBO generated this is the iSales um, application so here let's click generate code let's choose Java, Android uh, choose the NY server, default page size then we can generate the code into a pass for third party jar files uh, we're gonna choose the Android SDK jar files here so um, just a moment um, let's check under the SDK folder, so here uh, the Android Java file here. So okay, uh, the next thing we got to do here is download 101 uh, sample code here and uh, import it it into uh, the workspace and also we have to uh, import those library files here so let's click properties choose java build passes so here we have the three library files here already imported Android. Those library files are here, so you can add those jars here. So let's move on. Um, so here uh, we gonna um, import. sample application here and also the generated code for Android is located here so we got a um, copy those generated files into the uh, 101 sample application so here 
we have already um, imported and copied and here uh, we gonna um, config the Android application properties here uh, we have to add user permissions here in manifest files uh, so if you are lazy you can copy and paste from the uh, tutorial uh, like me it's located here user permissions you need to set it in every application so add the class to the manifest files it's already prepared for lazy man okay so next step we will create the user interface So the user interface files in, of Android applications is located in the REST layout folder. So here, uh, double click the main XML. This is the configuration for the mail, uh, main activity screen. So here you can see uh, the sample application has already uh, built this layout for us so also in detail screens here we have uh, four columns and then we need to um, create a launch configuration for the Android project And in the sample activity, um, if you have a different name of MBO, uh, you may have some warnings or errors here. So uh, there's something you need to change it manually. For example, the um, username and password of your SUP server, the host name and port. Um, Yes, and one thing is very important here is let's see um, the initial application. Yes, here we go. So the application identifier is um, in most cases is the uh, application name. Or application ID um, of the MBO. Uh, so here we use I sales. Uh, we can also see some sample um, code here to do the user on board. Since SUP two one three, we have uh, we can do an automatic onboarding by username and password you do not need activation code anymore uh, and you can also use the network protocol of HTTPS so here is an user onboarding so here let's check the code a little bit more uh, this is the ICLS DB uh, synchronized code. Uh, so after we onboard the SUP uh, server, we will do a first initialization, uh, the synchronizing synchronization. And uh, here, uh, let's choose a target of our emulator. This is Android 2.2 emulator. Click run. Here, so 
the Android emulator is a little bit sm slow to start off. Come on, Google. Okay. So, um, come on. There's nothing wrong with the emulator. Um, if the emulator is slow. you need to uh, sit back and grab a coffee maybe so here uh, we can also check the console let's see we have already installed the uh, APK files to the emulator so um, <coughs> sorry okay let's see just a minute the application will be launched automatically um Okay, success. So it's doing an onboarding steps. may take some time let's see the log cat we have some uh, trace files here so it's a little bit slow I don't know why I have the SUP installed in my local host oh here Okay, synchronization done. We get the um, results. And click each result. You can see there's a detailed screen here. So let's go back to the uh, SCC. Let's do a fresh of the application connections here you can see uh, we have already had the uh, user uh, SVP admin bundled with a device simulator Android here on board it the status is online okay thanks for watching bye <laughs>